So the wine, the garlic, and now, oh, okay, most importantly, a whole bunch of cheese. Swiss cheese base. Oh, Julie, no wonder Julie likes it. <laughs> it is a lot of cheese. She's always talking about the melting pot. So the wine went in first, then the lemon, and then the garlic. Absolutely. And then a little bit of cheese. <laughs> no, a lot of cheese. <laughs> we added in third. A lot of cheese. Well, yeah, because they put the cheese in first to be harder to add the other stuff. Right. They got to make a slurry, you know, and then add the... <laughs> The technique is on the wrist. <laughs> Dad, watch the technique. So I am. Isn't it so funny because like fondue was a big deal like back in the 70s. 70s, yeah. And then it like went away. But then people come to the melting pot and pay like you know, hundreds of dollars. Well, do you want to know where it originated? It was the, the soldiers uh, in the 70s that went over to Switzerland. And they came back and they brought it back. So that's why it was big in the 70s. Okay. Because they brought it from the Swiss soldiers. Trust me, we learned about it all. <laughs> it's a class. Yeah. Melting Cop 101. Yeah. No, I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> that is no joke. <laughs> but that is until you put it in two, two, um, they have to, a little at a time. You didn't dump in all the seeds because it probably get all gooey. Yeah, it gets popped. And then this is our nutmeg. <laughs> I mean, this is the, um, this is the this, Alpine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. Switch it up. Oh, I see. We're on 20 here. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. This is another white wine paste. So once it's cooked, then it stays which, which white wine? Does it matter? Nope, this is a white wine. You don't want to get something too dry. Too dry, yeah. So what cheese is that? This cheddar. is the quattro fromage. Okay, never mind. This and is what, was the, what was the other one? Don't look the Swiss Alpine. Oh, Swiss Alpine, okay. And what's the out? Roasted garlic. And what are these? <laughs> that sounds good, too. Personally, this is my favorite one. This is one that I had recommended to you all. That's the one I was going to choose anyway. So. Yeah, so <laughs> Glad to say, find out. See, and the texture is a lot like um, beating an egg. Yeah, so I was thinking it's kind of like scrambled eggs. Yeah. But you shouldn't use an egg beater. <laughs> okay. Uh, Make it a little well, bit. Well, you could. I don't, yeah, no, actually, I never really thought about that. Well, I mean, you know what I mean, like hooked up to like a mixer. Are you going to ask her what's that? Yes, this what is, is our um, <laughs> sun-dried tomato paste. Okay. I'll ask it today. And then for our pesto. Right. You don't mix it in, though. Uh, yep, we do. Yeah, that's why she put it in there. Why would she? I don't know. That's why she put it in there. Well, I mean, you didn't just dump it in. That's what I do. Because it's Parmesan cheese. See, it makes a little Italian flag. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And then you just mix it all in. And there's your Pasha Fumaggio. Oh, sounds good. 